What's happening people? Ashton Taylor Burns here, back with another video. And in today's video, what we got for you guys, I'm gonna be servicing old girl, the Rona right here. So I gotta change the oil, the oil filter, and I'm actually gonna be draining the transmission of the fluid, changing that. And putting in some smooth shift as well, because my gears are crunching quite hard. I think the transmission's coming to the end of its life. Here are the products that we're going to be using today. So we've got some 15W40 shell oil. Just got a uh, your standard Repco oil filter. We've got some transmission fluid right here. And then we've got some smooth shift from Penrite to put in the transmission as well. I'm sure you guys know the procedure by now, so I've got to jack my car up and put it on jack stands, so we'll see you guys in a second. Car's on jack stands now, so what you want to do is you want to come over and remove your oil cap, which is right here. And take that off. Then you want to come underneath your car, locate your oil drain pan, which is here. Then you have to crack this bowl and drain all the old oil out, so we've got an oil pan right here to drain it into. Guys ready for this? No spill gang. Now you just want to let all the old oil drain out for about 10 minutes or so. So now you want to screw the drain bolt back in and just tighten it up again. Next step is to get your oil filter out, so... Mine's actually like behind the exhaust manifold down here, so it's kind of hard for me to show you guys. Screw the old filter off. There it is. Here's your new filter, and do not forget to lube the outside of this. Fuck. Make sure you lube this ring on the outside here with some engine oil, because that makes it seal better to your engine, so I'm doing that now. Like so. I just put the new oil filter on, and again, I just fast forwarded past that, because I literally just can't show it, man. There's no space in there, but the new filter is in. New oil filter's in up there, as you can see. But now all we've got to do is just top up some engine oil, and that's pretty much a wrap on that job. I'm gonna take this cap off, and just start filling oil in here. When you're doing this, don't pour it this way, pour it this way because it pours it way more evenly or you, or you could just use a funnel. I'm just lazy. Make sure you put the cap back on. The next job is to drain the transmission of fluid. So on my car, and I'm pretty sure it's most old Toyotas as well, you have what's called a sealed transmission. So basically what that means is you can't fill the transmission from the top like you can for the oil. You actually have to fill the transmission from underneath the car and how you do that, you need to go buy one of these pumps right here and that makes it so you can pump the transmission fluid into your transmission with this. just filled the pump with transmission fluid as you can see and I did spill a bit which I guess that's why I use a funnel but oh well. Now you want to come under your car and you want to undo your fill plug which is right here so just take this bolt out and that's where you want to put your pump into. Get your pump in here and start pumping like mad. going to add the smooth shift in the transmission now as well. Here we have it people. I just put the splash cover back on and now the last thing to do is I'm just going to go through and just zip tie the whole cover up because the vast majority of the bolts on the cover rusted and zip ties fix everything. If you know then you know. It's been a few days since I serviced my car and before I wrap the video up I actually just want to let the transmission fluid run through the transmission for a couple days so I can actually see how it is. And to be honest, the smooth shift actually works man, like it, it feels good, like it actually does feel smoother to shift gears. Like it's obviously not a night and day difference, like that's not what it is. If you wanted a night and day difference, 
buy a new transmission. But um, for what it is, for $20, it's good man like it the gears feel smoother to change like it's not crunching as much when i'm downshifting like i'll show you guys right now you see like it doesn't crunch as much as you guys can see like when i downshift it doesn't crunch as bad i mean yeah the crunch is still there but compared to what it was to what it is now it's way better man like i'll put a comparison on the screen right now so you can see I definitely would recommend putting that stuff in your transmission if your gears are crunching because it does help for sure and it's only 20 bucks as well so it's like it's worth a shot you know that's all I got for this video thank you guys so much for watching I love all of you bye